He was the last plane that left New Orleans. He was one of the last planes that landed in KCR? Yeah, because they shut down Thursday morning. My wife was due back in Thursday afternoon, very much for us. We went to Orlando, but they didn't get in until Saturday. Wow. They wasn't going to direct them to Chicago, but then Chicago was predicted to have a storm, and they didn't want to get stranded in Chicago. That's just awful. She had to stay in Orlando instead of coming back. That's just... Yeah, that's just awful. Well, that's the way it works. No, no. 
think that was a two-week subsidy. Oh, are you up here for the road? There's the project for the state length bridges? Yeah. It's not so true. You didn't come up with true. Yeah.
one year anniversary of the trial. Well, for Ross Fargo, there's with the the first payment would be at the time of signing, so, which is not what we had what we had asked for. So with the others, it says the anniversary date, so it would be after we get tax distribution next year. It would be a you know, early March, probably when we had finished. Does this change on your present agreement with the tax? If we own handouts and lease it to them, do we have to change that? Do there have to be a modification, or is there a clause in the agreement that we can transfer that? Because that then becomes, if they're held as security, that becomes more of an agreement between the most people. Right, because we retain ownership of the money. Well, I still think it is a minor technicality in the question. You're hiding from me. Thank you. It doesn't say, it just says that we will lease them to tax. It doesn't say anything about the ownership, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. We just have to have sufficient interest to be able to lease them. Okay. Thank
Yeah, well, if we're able to reach those, we certainly have got good fallback options. Yeah. Oh, we did lease purchase in the elevator. They had issues with prepayment of the lease purchase. Well, we'll see what the terms are. Because you need that specified. Well, Dennis and I here come before you guys today or want to voice our concerns uh, down on Pawnee Road. Uh, it's a road that goes down past the State Lake. And uh, you know how that road curves around down behind the lake itself. There's two wooden bridges down there. The first bridge, uh, the weight limit is 7 ton on it. And it's 14 feet wide. And the second bridge, there's a 5 ton limit on it. And it's also 14 feet wide. Uh, you know, we're really concerned, you know, motion machinery, you know, we have today uh, 14, especially our combines, you know, both Dennis and I, we have larger combines and uh, we go across these, across these bridges and our uh, tires hang off these bridges. Uh, you know, it's just uh, a lot of concern, you know, we both have kids at farm and uh, a lot of liability when we cross these bridges now. And uh, if something would happen, you know, you know, I don't know who would be liable really. But anyway, uh, the weight limit also is concerned to us, you know, you know, five tons, especially on a smaller bridge, uh, five tons, you know, that's 10,000 pounds. But you take larger pickups today pulling a sea tender, and you're, you're over that limit with the sea tender. You know, let alone, you know, the, you know, the semis and everything we have today. We'd like to see it, <coughs> see the county put tubes in, just pull the bridges out and put a tube in. There used, originally was three bridges down there, and back in the 70s, Jim Cunningham took out the first bridge and put a seven-foot tube in. We got two more, just right on the same creek, you know, just right on down, and you know it'd be a lot more economical to put. You, you got this is an old can you come out one of those? I guess I come out to see you. Uh, yeah, you, you can show <laughs> it. It wouldn't hurt. Uh, so we're we're about to. Sort of this is Pawnee right, right here. Yeah. So there'd be one here. And this is out that one right there. It's the ones north of Okay, right here. These are the two that you're talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the Yep. Right to the side of the side. And one just to the side. Talk a lot of Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're like mine, I put a case in my bibble. It wasn't crushed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so there's one here and yeah. there's one here. Okay. Do you have any idea how much are they cricks or are they actually, I mean, are they, they, are they, are they, are they, they get you? There's there three. There's uh, three. The, the one on north of the North Concrete Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. The one for the Independence, Independence. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. That's, okay. yeah. Okay. Our concern is that that's the, the creek that comes out of the lake. Mm -hmm. And it's that seven foot tube that Jim Cunningham put in. It went over to 84, naturally, but it went over everything in the country. And it went over it a little bit one other time since then. And in 84, they just hauled, you know, there was plenty of dirt around and the bluffs there beside. Just hauled some dirt in, fell it up, and he went on, you know. But my
my concern is that bridge down there in Andes, about, what was that, Dan, five or six years ago, they yeah, put a new approach about in. About five, five years ago or so. I and think. Bobby Jackson told me that, you know, the, the approach, just the one side of it, was about $4,500 for the planks and stuff. Well, a tube wouldn't cost any more than that, and you could have something more than 14 foot wide. My biggest concern is the county has a lot of bridges, but you've got to take care of the big ones. These little ones will never be. In our, everybody in this room in our lifetime will never see those little bridges ever. So it's only smart to put tubes in them and, and go on. I mean, in my opinion. Well, I don't think we could agree with you anymore. We, <laughs> we just went through a half of, of you know, Jim Chess, that bridge yeah. so they can do that. Right. So 318, is that 318? Yeah. Right. 310. 310. 310 jerky, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I think that's ultimately our goal. We'd love it wherever we can, but it, it takes an act of the state to get that done. Oh, oh, really? How, how many acres are you in? No. We I was going to look it up and put the slow storm and run out of time. Because okay. um, see, that, that that'd be our first that bridge up there. Maybe acres straight into it. No, we didn't. But see, it drains a lot, but the, the lake, the lake catches it. Right, the lake can't pull down like that. So mm -hmm. he said so six, foot, six and a half foot. Yeah, yeah kind of a big deal. We had a big, large, big water shed there. We had a lot of water shed on that one up on here. But we talked with the speculation. That Mike Calder was still more than one of the other ones. And it's directly kind of the situa same situation. Yeah, and we're not, well, that's not the state lake, but right, it's a big right. watershed. Mm -hmm. the same deal. Mm -hmm. We had a uh, yeah. farmer fell through the bridge. Right, right. Uh, then the uh, we're, right. we're replacing <laughs> it with a uh, caller. Mm -hmm. So I, I get approved by the state uh, really yeah. whether they can tell they you whether the state is through the Corps of Engineers. Well, I talked to Dennis Pyle, and he well, water where, resources where you on that pro process. And he said, we've got the I've got the permit from uh, Corbin. He said, the county's been leaving. The one from the state is supposed to be on the way. We have to get it. And if you had your permit, we had to have the people that own land up above it sign off. Do you have to get it? And he's saying that the water could back up. What is the over there? Yes, it's been and how long was that process? No, I, I I don't, I don't there are many counties that are the statutes. So. And that made well, Jackson County, I, they I the same amount of the two. We did a joint project with them a couple of years ago, and uh, that was our understanding that they don't go through the process of getting there. They may not always go through the process of getting their bridges approved, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a requirement of law. So we're, we're going to follow well. That. Here's one of my points. Uh, the duels hang over. The, the inside duels stay on the grid. The back tires are in half on the edge of the grid when you go across. And it's not our choice to buy the, that size of machine. I just sit on the same tire for myself. But that's still where you get it. Where do you find that type of equipment? We can't haul grain with pickups anymore. So we've got a $300,000 combine that's got $75,000 worth of uh, safety equipment on it. But yet we're taking that across the bridge that if that inside duel blows and we roll off that bridge and somebody gets killed and that $300,000 combine, now who's going to pay the bill on that? I mean, does it come back? Is it still your fault when you tore the bridge up? Based on, I think it's based upon but how do we get to our ground then? That's the problem. The the other bridge, which is Donovan County, that was an argument with Bobby Jackson. He said, well, you can always go out the other way. And I said, I don't pay tax in Donovan County. <laughs> Besides that, it's a, it's a 15 ton bridge, which still won't hold the semi over the grain. And I didn't realize it until we had the road closing here. Yeah, you don't have them up there. I mean, every and that's that's an issue. Mm -hmm. You know, I can, I understand 100 percent, and uh, that's why we don't want to close any more roads. We have to. We want to have leave options open. I mean, something. But uh, well, it was, yeah, I think I think you know, Matt. What was funny about this on that that deal there? I went down and talked to somebody. You got to go through the water office. 
Mm-hmm. And again, I talked to him, told him what the guidelines were. There's basically two guidelines, the opening, and then he had to make sure that there wasn't some wildlife that was going to be endangered. Right, right. Which sometimes can be more than 50%. Matt found another guy saying, the partner who I think we can work with, and that cost us $3,000 and some dollars for hydrology tests, but we think we're going to get a tube put in rather than a $40,000 bridge. Okay, now who's, who's going to stand that bill? Um, is Lee Knudsen or the county? Well, we, I think, uh, we'll probably stand that. But I think, because that was, there wasn't enough posted. There wasn't no weight limit? Uh, it was anything shorter than 20 foot. Or right. expect, and well, right I, I, I don't know that we're making a determination of star liability or whatever. Yeah. Right. That what? If there was we, we are not a determination. Well, the bridge has to be 20 okay, feet longer. If, longer if we went through, to be we fall through that five ton bridge with the, the tractor and plant. Yeah. Who's, who's going to, is that on our liability? Well, I think we're immune to the Kansas Sport Claims Act. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, see, that's what Dennis Pyle was telling me. He says, you wait and see, somebody goes through a bridge and gets killed, and the right lawyer. That statute is going to change in Kansas. It, it, it very well might, and it, I mean, there might even be arguments that it should. Uh, you know, these these bridges, these two were built in the early 30s. You know, a pickup load of grain. Mm-hmm. It was great. You know, but 38, 28. That, that's that's the yeah. same thing. That's the same thing, really. That my argument too. That bridge that was put over that. He was probably over engineered. I mean, just because of the opening, I mean, whatever right. the curriculum, they just put the bridge, he didn't really need to be that big. Right. But yet they have the standard that that bridge at the if the area, the square footage of that area is so much bigger than the tube, then you've got to put the bridge back like it you know. But if this is state law, how is Jackson County and the, that's just the local one? How are they just going on with and and how do they get by with it then if it's state law? I mean, I really have a hard time with everybody telling me it's state law because I can't find anything that says that. It is. Oh, I'd be happy to find that. Yes, it is. Well, how is Jackson County keep from getting prosecuted? They by the no, state? I, I don't have, we don't have jurisdiction over Jackson County. Well, I understand that, but how, do, how are they avoiding, if it's state law, how are they avoiding it? Yeah. If the speed limit is 65, our advice is going to be year 65. And, you know, having that the 100 other people are driving 75 on this road, I, I don't care what the answer to that question is. I, I don't have, we don't have any dog in the, what Jax County is doing fighting. Uh, we're, my advice to my commissioners is going to be to follow the law. The law is that we have to have a, uh, we have to have a permit. That's what we're going to do. And I really don't care about the other counties are not following the law, or why they're not following the law. You really have to ask them why they're not following the law. To me, to me, this is a thing that I, you know, that the legis- they got to play for now. This is something that we need to be working on legislation. Because if they're going to start cutting on funding, they're talking about the out cutting possibly funding down the road, right. and we're two years away from getting any more funding to do bridges, per se, so we're kind of on our own that they need to be giving us a little more relaxation on situations, maybe, and maybe this is justified, I don't know. I mean, you know, here again, you've got to bring engineers, you know, mm-hmm. what that's worth. But I'd like to see as many bridges in the county as we can that would fall under that where we could tear those bridges out and put tubes in, at least. Mm-hmm. It may not be exactly where you want, but if there's an alternative, it opens up an alternative route for you to go and mm-hmm. not endanger yourself Why? I'm all for it. Well, like I said, you know, I think at some point in time, somebody is going to go through a, a bridge and going to get killed. And that's where, you know, the big problem's going to come. But that doesn't help anything for in the past. I can see, it's like I told Andy and I told Dan, I can see that inside dual blowing on that tire and you just roll off the end of that bridge. You know, there's a $300,000 combine for a $40,000 bridge. That should have had a tube at the beginning with it. What, what can we do to help them out? Let's have a good or start with Matt. Matt needs to make a point here. Uh, Matt just told me the bridges were put in 1929, 1930. Is that correct? Uh, 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 
28 and 38. Okay, 28 and 38. The lake wasn't put in until 1957. Okay. Right. So that means these bridges probably are oversized now because you know there's not near the water flow going through that area since the lake was put in. So the lake was put in, you know, you know, 30 years roughly, or yeah, roughly 30 years, you know, after these bridges were put in. So I'm, I'm sure that's changed the water. Do you agree with that, Matt? Probably the water flows really changed down there. Right. The lake. Well, we know we know there's a seven foot culvert up above these two bridges. Right. Right. So. Where's where's this, where's it? It's right on the back side of the county lake where there was a bridge years ago. Oh, okay. They put you, you talk about state lake. They are not county. I mean, they state, state lake. State lake. So this this little dub down here has got a tube in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first one. Yeah. It's the first one over there. But it's dead end somewhere. That creek or ditch, according to this map. So it's, it's the same creek that these two bridges are on. Yeah, and that flows into the Independence there. Where is, is, it, is this what he's talking about? We definitely need to put it here. I don't want to see many acres of drainage. Oh, this is okay. I okay. So this is lower north. So put a culvert in. What we'd have to do is we'd have to. We'd have to get an engineer to do the hydrology on it, and then uh, you know that'd be probably around three thousand dollars, and then the cost of a culvert, one culvert, is going to be a little over five thousand. What going to be plus the hydrology. Um, do, um, do you guys own the land that's into the bluff there, or do on the north end? Right on the south end would be Camp McDermott. Would uh, yeah. would there be a possibility of maybe you, if something did go through, you donating the dirt to oh, them cover it up? Yeah, because that's one of our biggest challenges. You know, it's mm -hmm. hard to find us to find dirt. Sure, I'm sure we can come up with yeah. down there. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. <laughs> is it that too? But there's there is still three bridges, is that correct? Yeah. No, yeah. There's well, two left. Oh, the the the, 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 the third, third one, one. Right, right before you go into Don County is the good. Yeah, correct, right, right. That's the good. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we're okay there. Yeah. Okay. That, that makes okay. See, it was taken out in '84, and they put a FEMA bridge in there. Yeah, that's off the the maps. Well, these these two little bridges here, you know, they'll never flood out, so you never stand a chance of a FEMA bridge. So so if, they, if they would have went out, they would have went out in 84 when it took, you yeah. know, I don't know how many bridges in the county went out. Because most of the water that comes underneath these bridges, you know, during, it all backs up from Independence at yeah. the time of, you know, a flooding. It's just more of a backup area, of that whole area down there. But you know, even NRCS doesn't design terraces, tile outlets, to stand a 100 year flood. It's cost prohibitive. They'll tell you that flat out, you know. Instead of two thirty inch terrace or something, uh to, to handle that you'd have to have a five foot. Well this is kind of the same deal to me. I mean I I really don't care what or you know what they're saying. I know that we have to go through steps, but you can't design a tube to handle I mean even those two bridges, you know, if independence floods, it'll back up in there and it'll cover it seven, eight feet of water over top of the bridge. Well, that's going to happen, you know. But it, it, it does no more damage to that too than it does to the bridge. So well, that's the, the state, like, it, it irks me because the state will tell you you can't put a culvert in. Well, if, if the water goes over the culvert, what we're just going to do is wash some rock off. Or exactly. Just put the rock. But that's, that's kind of where we're at. But the maintenance on a culvert over a bridge is right. no comparison at all, really. I think is it, man? Yeah. Um, the luminized culverts now, if we put one in, we'll never have to look at it again, except for maybe if there's some trash in front of it or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of little bridges in the county like that, and, and they all need addressed, but we'll never get it by relying on state funding to. I mean, what what are we doing now? Like two bridges a year or something? Well, some of those are the federal yeah. system. Some right. of those are the federal system. But they have to be the bigger bridges because you know, yeah. I mean, that's the one job that they can't put a tube in. You know. Now we we talked a little briefly about getting like a, a long term rangeland to start mm -hmm. replacing these taller bridges. So I mean, I think you've been starting to work on yeah coming up because we got a lot of and I've had the little water reeds, which are well, same. Well, the one that broke through last fall by that farmer is that 
road closed officially today yet? I mean, so it's, yeah. Yeah, it's and is that a, I don't, I'm not familiar with that road. Is that a pretty busy road or no? Okay. More of a farm or road with yeah. harvesting kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's just, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. it's a mile and a half south. I was shocked about that. A castle down there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think there's only one person who actually lives on the road and they, they got access to it. So it's not creating a lot of handicapped for a lot of people to be enclosed. Yeah, and, and, and technically, you know, we're, we are allowed, we have all that route yet. Some counties are starting to go there and have a you know, two mile. In other words, you don't road. have to put a bridge in. Mm -hmm. on the you can the whole road. Yeah. Two modes. Yeah, yeah, that would have probably been a road that if, you know, would have been considered that we could close pretty easy because if only one person lived on that road, they had pretty good access to the no that way. Do you think it's a pretty good chance, Matt, that you can get tubes in there or, or you don't think so? Or? Well, I, I keep waiting. I keep waiting to see how the other. You know, they keep telling us that we're going to get the permit, but we haven't gotten it yet. Um, Who's doing the hydrology work? Cook plaster. Well, I, I'm familiar with uh, other situations where it's taken them a year to to look at an application, uh, which would be. Unfortunate, but and that may be the reason why some counties decide not to. Do it. Now, does the state require you to do that? This hydrology report to get the permit, yes. Yeah. You, you have to show plans that you're not going to cause a stream of obstruction that's going to cause harm to the inland or the right. land water. Well, yeah, even with backup, we, we've got an easement or whatever yeah. that could cause On the on the one out on 310. We had the upstream of the culvert, we had to go to that landowner and have them sign an easement that if the water backed up on them, the, oh. you know, we're not. Well, I think well, the part of the reason why, and it's common sense is not always used to play with this, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's part of the, things that, the reason why we try to go through these steps, and I don't know what other counties do, like Jackson County, but, you know, there are also sometimes where KDOT funds come available to replace some of these it's not just through federal and so mm -hmm. we have to have inspections done, you know, you know, every so often on some of these bridges, whether trust or non trust bridges. And so we're trying to help keep compliant. If there is a project where it comes along or they can replace, we don't want to be ineligible. Well back in twenty eight and thirty eight, when they built these bridges, did they I mean, was there some kind of a study done that so many acres drainage and it needs a bridge and you know, I'm no, sure not. <laughs> well, I told Matt when I talked to him earlier about this, I told Matt, I said, you know, what about if, say, the township would kick in a little bit of money? Because ours, well, we're talking about the township road. Say the, county, the township would kick in a little bit. Dan and I were the two main ones with the equipment to use it. We could kick in a little bit, and the county would kick. You know, it'd be kind of a project that, yeah. And you know, maybe it set a precedent for a lot of the rest of the bridges in the townships of the county. I mean, it's kind of a different approach, but I mean, I'm willing to. I don't like that when you can't see the bridge. You line up. Then that's it. You don't. You do this. <laughs> Why slow down when you cross that bridge? <laughs> Yeah. Well, the one thing we do have going for us, you know, a lot of these older bridges, like the one that did break down last fall, I, is all wooden. This does have, uh, you know, the uh, main stringers are I beams on it. Otherwise, they would have been broken down. You know, Dennis and I have both taken semis across it, you know, a few times, and it would have been broken down many years ago because, you know, but it does have I beams for the two main, main stringers on it. Yeah. And you know, it's not feasible to. I mean, to, to make this width problem, to solve it a little bit, it's not feasible to go in there and put another I-beam down on each side and try to... I mean, that's just... That's what I thought about putting that approach in that little bitty bridge down there, Danny. It's $5,000. You could have put a tube in for that. And that's not counting... Bobby didn't count the labor, which was about 
two and a half weeks, I think, you know, to do it because it got the road department anyway. So it wasn't even a labor count. But I thought to myself, you know, now that's, that bridge is going to be good for 30 years, you know. So, but you still, even after we did that much, put that much money in, you still got a 5-ton bridge, 14 foot wide. To me, it was just an absolute total waste of money. I take it you're not going to go organic farming, so you've got that one. I did it on my hand. I'm going to make sure because I'm going to commit this. And I was going to try to behave myself being just a county commission meeting, but I can tell you, you don't. So. <laughs> I, I'd have to throw a little humor in there. Yeah, that's good. You know, the thing is, yeah, yeah, as you look at this, I mean, I don't know, you know, and maybe you guys don't, but there are a lot of roads up in that area. You, that is, you guys, is, I mean, that would cause. Well, another concern is you know get to a lot of this property where we're talking about up in there. You sure you can come in from Highway Seven on a three thirty four road, I believe. But then right when you get off of Highway Seven, there's a wooden bridge. It's not marked because it's you know it doesn't have a weight limit on it, but it's a small wooden bridge. You cross that, and then you got to cross another bridge. Yeah, it's got a fifteen ton limit on it, and it's a narrow bridge also. But it's I, I think that's a sixteen foot bridge. It's got concrete banisters on it there. But it, and then even come in from the west, you know, you, then you're coming in from Donovan, and they got their like their problems up there, you know, bridges across. Right. So it, the anywhere, you know, from whatever direction you come in, the, you know, this property <coughs> up in there, you got to cross, you know, two bridges, you know, wherever wherever you go at. And uh, and the ones that I'm talking about in Atchison County, you know, like I said, coming in from the you know the east there off of Highway Seven, you know, the first one's not marked, but it's a small wooden bridge. Then the second one is uh, there's a 15 ton weight limit on that bridge. But see, that's a Donaldson County bridge. The cement one is. Uh, no. Hmm? On on that road? On no, the road. that's right. That'd be that Atchison. Bars. Yeah. No, because Donaldson County is the one that got sued, wasn't it? No, that's our road. 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 <laughs> well, I know the, the township splits of maintaining that road right there at the driveway. Yeah, that's, that's our reason. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're just asking to consider looking into, you know, even if a person has to sidestep some of the stuff and, you know, just... I think we want to call the steps on dinner or something. Well, you got to go away to it. It take a year. I mean, well, that's my point right there. there. I think Pat said it could take up to a year, not that it messed up. Because I think we were going to hear back from them here fairly quick. Well, we're <laughs> short on what? Oh, probably over three months now, something like that. Pretty yeah. much. And we talked to them recently? Uh, okay. Last I talked to them was right after I got that, uh, the uh, uh, leave of time. Well, it happened in November, and I think when we were down to the Conference in December. That's why I, you went a week or less after. You talked to somebody less than yeah. a week after I did. I went right down to the yeah. office. Well, I can I can tell you this much: the Division of Water Resources, <laughs> which is who you're talking about, right. is if you apply for a permit for a well, they're over 18 months behind on on going through applications. And that just goes through the water office. Right. So you see where you stand. And that's the reason that is. The state laid off so many workers, and out of that department, now with all the drought and all the applications for wells, it's just snowed under, and they can't, you know, they can all go through and spread it. Well, yeah, it, it, it changed some of the water rights law, you know, and stuff, and that, that's, that's backed up some of the stuff, too. So mm -hmm. I just think that if you want to get away from bridges, you move to western Kansas and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> I can give them water. So you yeah. have to yeah. you I can give them a call them all as if oh, they're yeah. open. And you really see where we're at. Them. But yeah. um, I kind of think it hinges a little bit around that project out there. If we can't get a permit for that bridge out there, then we won't be able to get one for this one. Well, yes, I know. But that's, I mean, that's seven half, you know. The yeah, but I had, I had the, um, when this came up a few years ago, I had Cook Platt and Strobel came up and looked at that up there 
And at that time, they said we couldn't get a permit for to put a culvert where those two bridges are. But like I said, we've got Cook Flat and Stroll working on the same thing for us now, and we'll see if we get get it done or not. But well, I hope too that you guys look into the laws and what it really says, and not just go by what B and G consultants or this hydrology guy. We talked to. I've talked to the yeah, Right. I know it, it's there's more loopholes. Well, I know some of these some some creeks fall under you know water resources and some don't. You know, it depends. I found that out. Independence Creek is is a totally different uh, ruling than the rest of the state of Kansas. So. Yeah. No, it's just a tributary to the Missouri River directly, and that makes it a different. It's got different statues and most creeks and things. Sometimes, sometimes like a geological survey gets involved, in some mm -hmm. of them, especially at the main tributaries like Missouri. So I know some people in the geological survey office if we need to contact them. There's a difference if there's if the stream the stream was navigable, determined to be navigable if it had stayed with it then the stream itself belongs to the state, bank to bank, high water mark to high water mark, mm -hmm. requires their consent. And, uh, Independence Creek will well need that definition. Uh, okay. You know, Kansas River obviously they has... They have restrictions, I know, on part of it, but I don't know how, if it's the entire Independence Creek or if it's only so many miles. I, I know they have jurisdiction of that. What, what would happen, now this deal with the bridge out west out there that is broke. What happened, what would happen if this was on a bridge where there was five people lived on the other side and this is their access? You know, this is such a slow process. What happens in that case? They don't work. <laughs> they live in the well, I mean, they live in the peak, okay? Well, yeah, I, I know what you're saying, but it's, that's, they think that, you know, they got to go through the process. But in the meantime, does the county go slap a tube in this creek and offset the bridge and go around so they can get in and out? Or do we just hire a helicopter and fly groceries into it? That's a tough question well, to answer. But see, they have access. I mean, it's yeah. not a difference. Yes, you no. know, you got, I think you got more issues up here. We don't even know how many acres are turning into it, too. I mean, um, yeah, but that, that don't. That threshold is it 328? What is the th that kind of magic threshold that they raise? Yeah, no, it's uh, no, it's too, it's too, I can't remember the exact but it's 200 and something. Yeah, see, that the county has to take no, care of it. No, if it's over 200 and so many acres, I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, you have to get oh. a permit. Or, yeah. To put a culvert. That's kind of your threshold that we're talking about. You're saying, like, what do you have to get permits for? Well, I know it's way over. I mean, we're probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's two, three hundred acres, I'd say. Wouldn't you do this? That drink does this or more? I would have more than that. It'd be way more than yeah, that. Yeah, it's clear to me. Right. About four or five hundred acres. I'd say probably two thousand acres. Yeah. I think you're at least over. Because I think you're over a thousand. Because that whole valley drains into the lake and then from the lake, then it goes. Yeah, it's probably creek. more than you think. Yeah. It's all the spots that we to the inquire with that. I, I think uh, one of the things that's probably like to maybe see, maybe Pitch Flat Struggle does this, so that check into like the stream. You can dig up records on prone to flooding. My guess is that there's probably very little to no events that have occurred. Kind of like when you take ground out of high risk. If you had an event occur in 10 years, yeah, after you can usually. What happened? I mean, was there any backup there? Okay. Uh, 84, yeah. 84 was. Uh, Right, when it backs up, you know, when we get a lot of rain, the independence is going to get out. And when that gets high, that back that changes everything down there. Mm -hmm. You know, the independence rules down in through there. You know, and Would when that gets out, they'll back up all the way to almost the lake. Damn, I mean, not quite, but you know, mm -hmm. down in there. It hasn't flooded probably for. I don't know. Did you flood in '93? Yeah, we flooded in '93, but it may have been out once since then, but in the last seven, eight years, and. It's been out, you know. I mean, so, uh, but it will. I mean, it can be. Yeah, normal. Normally, the independence will get out what every other year or so. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like the stranger when that gets out. 
almost every year, some mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. But you know, like when it gets out, though, what the bridges that we're talking about, you know, the these, this little creek doesn't get out. You know, the water coming from the lake is just all backup water from the Independence. And Even though I'm saying, you know, that it drains two or three thousand acres, which it does, but make that whole loop. That bridge that, that's five time, you can stay in the bottom of the creek and reach the, you know, the I-beams. So it's not really all that big. I mean, I don't know, it's just, just mm -hmm. a lot at, what about like possibly like an AG opinion or something like that on NRCS or Water Resource Board. Just a thought. To ask if we need one, if we... At this part, like at, at, at hearing to... So do I read this right? You, you and Danny both are the land on the each side, side of the road. Right.
get moving on something in the county, like I said. Yeah. And to me, this is where some of your farm organizations, like farm parents, that they need to be um, legislatures to start with backs and really looking at yeah. the ways that we're going to be able to update if we're going to have less funding we need to be able to update some of these these bridges mm -hmm. in, in a, you know. and to me like, and, and you guys the situation here is it's backed up water it was over it's on you guys it's land right exactly <laughs> so I mean it, it's not as if you're in, in a, and it's right on the I mean it, it's a long it'd have to go a long ways to hurt anybody else mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. I mean right but it's you know I'm like Matt, you know, so the water goes over once every 25 years and you have to put a new load of gravel on or, or even haul four or five loads of dirt back in, you know, it's still cheaper than a bridge, you know. And a three hundred thousand dollar phone. Yeah, yeah. In two, three years it may be five hundred. Yeah, it, and it probably will be, but worse yet is thinking about the kids. If that tire blew out, because like I said, one tire and it blows and drops you that far, you know what's going to happen on that bridge, especially when you're overweight to begin with. That. So it's, it is kind of scary. And I, I, I told my whole family, I said, you know, it doesn't make sense that government will require you to have $75,000 worth of safety equipment on this combine, but yet there's nothing out here on these little dinky bridges all I've ever heard is if you break it in, you replace it, you know. Well, geez, that's kind of backwards there, you know. But I can see, you know, I mean, I can see where it comes from, but I can see where that philosophy is outdated in today's world. About 15 years ago, it started getting outdated real quick. Because, well, here's, here's another one. There is an elevator in Ashton will dump a pickup load of grain. I mean, if you don't have a semi or a two-ton truck with a hoist, then they don't even like them anymore. You know, where are you at? So, the pickup load of grain will overweigh that five-ton bridge anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's... You still want to create a three-quarter-ton uh, truck with sideboards. I know. Would it help their call if they contacted these people directly themselves? Or would they even listen to them? Uh, you got to right now, I don't think it would help until we get the ball rolling. Well, you get the ball rolling. Well, that's the thing. We're going to have to, to get the ball rolling, we're going to have to do a hydrology. We're going to have to hire a consultant to do that. I'm just curious um, if we solicited or bid out for multiple just like we do our we did our bridges for inspections. What would it what would it drop the cost of the reports? I don't know. Um Cook Flat and Strobel. Um we had uh we had B G bid at one time and we got a, a thing from Cook Flat and Strobel and B G was like ten thousand dollars and Cook Flat was around three. So I, I don't know where we would be. I don't know well, that's, per, think that's like a per per. per if we're starting this this trend of like you know spending three thousand. No, that was actually for um, the actual the bridge they're talking about. Okay. Um, when I I called BG, I called Cook Flat, and that's what they wanted. Or what you're, this, maybe yeah. what you're saying this is something I would even think about is well, let's pick ten bridges that we think could possibly fall under this category. And let's go do a step with you. Know, maybe they'll come in. That's a good idea. Yeah. Instead yeah. of spending 30000 what if we're spending ten or fifteen thousand? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Ten or fifteen more. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. we can, we can, I, I know we could identify another eight oh, yeah. pretty yeah. quick. On main, you know, we have to look, we have to make sure they're kind of on main roads or lease service in there. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe several of those guys where there's not really good access, there's not a, you know, a, that lot of road every mile. That's a good idea. That, you know, just anything like that to, can cheapen it down and make us get but through. But at the same time, we have to keep counting our legislators and, and sure. look at re look at these <coughs> and, and statutes and stuff because well, there we isn't all, a lot of common sense. We all know that there isn't enough money to replace bridges. I mean, you can only do one or two a year, and everybody's pretty well 
knowledgeable of that. Consequently, these little ones aren't never going to get attended to. It. They can't. You know. Until they break down. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, here again, you know, I think as we look at the, the kind of looking down the road that we may be faced with a two mile thing, I mean, see, that would, we can't really do anything. We, we, have, we need to do something there because you guys don't have a, a pretty long route. You have to go yeah. and get around. The so, township has the same set of rules as the county path. Well, the, by, by statute, the, uh, the county bridges and yeah, the, the, the bigger culverts are the county's responsibility to on township areas. Anything over a 66 inch culvert is the county's responsibility. Okay, I've got a question here for Pat, maybe. These two bridges, the township road grader way is over limit on both of them. Who pays then if the township grader goes through the bridge? You know, the township or the county? You know, you're not looking at a private citizen now, you're looking at another government entity. And the grader is overweight, let alone load the rock between those two bridges. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bad deal. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, you're exactly right, but, you know, that's a good no, I just want to, I just want to make sure. If, yeah, but what I think what you're concerned is you got to be careful because if, if you did did get caught and somebody said you later down the road you may not be making eligible for state funds for a couple of years. That's what I'm. That's what concerns me is just they. What's going to happen if they keep this same process and all of a sudden we got ten of these that people come to us? Well, we bring out more ten of these. I can see here too. Well, I've been contacted. <laughs> These two, and I've got two other ones just in the last couple of months. But yeah, I think we'd have to set a priority. I mean, you know, we've got eight townships. I think you'd have to look around and say, let's, yeah. okay, we'll look at, let's look at each township and see if there's uh, two or nine. Kyle, that was the last couple of months. Yeah, that was. Uh, well, you know, Kyle, Kyle. By Dan and I coming here, you know, you kind of open up a can of worms. You say, you know, maybe eight or ten of these. If, we're, if the word gets out or whatever, you know, that the county's looking into it, you're probably going to be faced with 30 or 40 of them, you know, just that quick. And I understand that. How do you handle it? But you not probably have, you have to prioritize. I mean, I think we'd have to look at maps like this. Right. And, and see the age of the bridge and this and that. And, uh, but here again, that may be enough to say, that may be the meeting you need to have dense file and some of the, and some of the legislators up there to look, this is what we're facing. That's a good idea there. I think I think those legislators need to be in on it. Even but if even if you got a hold of your township people and they prioritize six bridges in here. And those people in those townships and the county and have Dennis File and some of them there and say, Man, look, you know. So some of them need the suspicious the theory on both those bridges, one of them is thirty four. And one of them is 31, so we wouldn't be out of line fireplace taking them out because they're way deficient. So. My biggest concern is the safety of them. That's it. You know, that's just what it amounts to. And the tube, you don't have the safety issue. So if it collapses, at least you don't drop 10 feet. <laughs> yeah, but if you get buried. Well, we're just taking up your time. You know what we want. We would like to see. Well, I, I think we're on the same side. Oh, yeah. 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 We, we'd like to get there, too. It just may be a little difficult to get there. Well, my whole deal was to get the thought process started to look into ways that... Because the problem is only going to get bigger and worse as years go by. And bridges have been... I've read it in the paper. <laughs> For 40 years, you know, bridges are a problem. The problem is money to replace them. You know, if you can't, if you don't have the money to replace them, find a cheaper way or something. If, if we can. And that's, you know, that's right. Well, you know, like, like our soil conservation people. I mean, you know, we probably need to be looking at, at uh, damming up water or something. You know, or slowing up some of this water so that you know. These bridges aren't that kind of. You know, we don't have to face those kind of issues because mm -hmm. water is going to be a premium. I mean, you know, you got to, I cleaned five ponds up this year. Yeah. And I did not realize how deep the original were, how much dirt was in there and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we really didn't have that much water to begin with. So mm -hmm. It didn't take a lot to fill it back up. But there's a lot of that's another issue I know across the state. And talking to the Stereo Association, I work with him in water is these reservoirs. 20, 30 years ago, well, we've got watershed dams. 
you know, my dad took care of the state lake from the time it was built. And they told him it's 50 feet deep. And they told him that according to the way soil, nothing was terraced down, the way soil was washing, that in 50 years, that lake would be full. Well, it was about 50 years when they drained it. And of course, it's got a big outlet in the bottom of it. And they always open it up about every two years to suck, you know, to keep that open. But the west end of it has filled up. But it never went near as fast because there's only one farm left in that whole drainage area that's not terraced now. So that slows the water down, you know. And, but still, when you get a flood like 84, it doesn't matter what you got. What you need to do since the last year is really backed up over 84? Uh, 93 it backed up pretty deep. 84 was probably 10 to 12 feet over top of the bridges down in there. So you're talking like 20 plus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but that was on that's over the top, so that didn't have anything to do with whether there was a scratch. Right. 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 But I can't yeah. not for you. Mm -hmm. well, 84, right 84 went over Highway 7. The Independence yeah. went over top of Highway 7, what, two, three feet over top of that highway. Mm -hmm. Something that. Not a 500 year flood, I, you know, yeah. possibly, you know, 84 was. But that's not the problem with the Board of Agriculture is supposed to be looking at. The chief engineer is looking at. That's water catching up. This is water that's just, you know, over, overwhelmed the entire system. A lot of water that's backed up by the obstruction of putting in the stream. So. Mm -hmm. But you know, NRCS kind of dictates all this type of stuff. But yet, the state supersedes them. I mean, they don't even make their stuff to cover that kind of stuff because it's cost prohibitive, you know. And they know that the terrace is going to, when they design it, you get that 100 year flood or 50 year flood, it's going to go over, you know, and you just repair it, you know. So, but anyway, thanks you guys for. The last thing you guys could offer to kind of keep that lake down and set up. <laughs> I don't think that's flat of the state. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but you know, it's, it's a real big thing happening in Northeast Kansas. Now there's a lot of ponds, right? That we had to mix my nephew and everybody right? did because what he was going to build it, there's no water there at all. <laughs> we, we just spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it, and there's been no water to fall on. Yeah. You know, that's
districts around now. You know, I mean, there wouldn't be many cows to be fed. No, there wouldn't. <laughs> You know, there'd be a lot of people, you know, building these homes. They wouldn't be building these homes where they're at today if we didn't have, you know, oh, what no. Father Angela started have many trouble, years ago. Trouble finding right. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you get a permit from the Division of Water Resources, don't mean you're going to find water. <laughs> Do you want me to send you the statutes? No, Matt. These guys, they're all capable of. We're just, we're just here to. We're on the same page, okay. Yeah, right. It's just too bad the process. We all want to go fall across, but it just, you know, how it all draws out and takes years yeah. getting it done. By the time we move the combines this fall, if the tubes were in, we'd be happy. But <laughs> <laughs> you never say never. I mean, we, we do yeah. have a contact and we know some people. Well, there's one thing about it. If, if the process was allowed, it wouldn't take Matt and the guys very long to. Jerk a bridge out and put a tube in there. Three days, sure. right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Three, I'll call my contact under it for say, to see how our, our uh, permits come in. I'll start there. And well, the worst scenario, if you don't get a permit and they're down to that low ratings, they may have to be put on this and it may be, have to be a bridge and make it wider and hopefully we get to the tube. Yeah. That's Hopefully we don't have to waste the money on widening and stuff like that. I mean, to me it's a waste of money, but... Well, you got yeah, bridges are old anyway. Yeah, exactly. You put, I mean, put extensions out here. They're, they're, you know. they're new, but, I mean, you just, you know... Put your extension out there, and then t five years from now, the approach is bad, you know, and kind of like working on a junk car. <laughs> Has that ever been done, Matt, in county? Put an extension on an old bridge and... Uh, oh, oh yeah, we had, you know, we, when there isn't land to replace one, yeah, we, well, just like that bridge there, you know, we, we put all the new poly in there on one side. Mm -hmm. so. But do you have to, do we have to engineer, what would it have to be engineered if you did that? As long as you don't tear down the whole bridge, oh, okay. you don't have to have a permit. As long as you build it back the way it was or better, you're okay. When you start shrinking down that opening, that's when you get into trouble. But you know, actually, you're not restricting the flow of anything. Yeah, I know. You know, <laughs> <laughs> with the tube, you're not restricting. I mean, the sky is the limit. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's well, go. You only got to go no matter where it was. No matter what, bad. Things are simpler. Just think how many jobs would be lost. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, we'll get well, out of here so you guys can get out of here. Thank you, guys, for here. Yeah. Well, we got some ideas going, so anytime you talk to your legislature, yeah. you know, it, it'd be time to, you know. I think you've got an awful good idea, though, of kind of prioritizing, like, 10 or 12 bridges, getting a bid, mm -hmm. we want reports on this. Your idea of having a group of people meet with some legislators, I think that's a great idea. Well, and you may have to take them on a tour. You know, it's, it's sometimes seen, I mean... Right. You know, exactly. You get a little idea here, but when you go actually see the situation, it, it's right. Like it. Well, you know, if we had to do that, we could just park one of the combines on the bridge and put the wheels <laughs> taking off. No, just let the pile drive on the truck. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner he'll do it than me. You know that thing about he used bands, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I yeah, appreciate you. Uh, yeah. Not right, because I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's some turns around. She's pretty new over time, so it was just how long would that be a good guy to do what you're to do? Somebody's got to do it. But sure, this is very good. Well, one of
procedure for me with the death drop away before. That would, that, that would be my concern. Oh, I, before I get too wild, I'd want to investigate and see for sure whether or not. Oh, I know it's not about permanent. I don't know, it's about 25 years ago. We used to get concrete bridge right there, west of Rambo, west, and come down that other two, and no problem. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they did, they did a lot of that, and I know that they just cut out the. It's kind of like jurisdiction over rules and that. Because I'm thinking, like, cities have authority to overrule, like, historical structures. I know that. Like, is there any authority where commissions that they deem it unsafe, they can overrule? There's got to be some cases out there where this is applied. I just know that like a lot of municipalities have authority to overrule state historical society. Um, I'll tell you what a good place to talk about this might be. That District One uh, meeting is coming up. Northeast Kansas Highway Association mm -hmm. that I was talking to you about there. You know that there might be some good people there from the state to talk to. To bring this up would be great. I just mean, when do we, yeah, we when do we have to reserve uh, I have to know by the middle of the second quarter. I think it's like the 14th or something like that. When is it? It's toward the end of the month, is what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. In okay. the next month. I, I don't remember the exact uh, date on it. It's well, it's 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 Gotta be toward the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because Farm City. I think one year. I think one year. I wrote down D and the D in March. At the peak of the 27th. Okay. I think we're not sure. I'm all for it since getting something going on this because, like I said, we're, we're a couple of years away, aren't we? I mean, is it 15 before we even qualify? 215 before we qualify? That's off-system. That's off-system bridges. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a, little bit, a, little bit, a little bit different than what we're talking about right here. Right, yeah. yeah. I, I'm trying to remember. I, I know that uh, these used to be handled by the Kansas Water Resources Board. When they merged that with the Board of Agriculture, was, I think around that was the secretary when they merged that. Wasn't that when the Board of Agriculture the election was determined to be unconstitutional? Wasn't he the secretary when that happened? That would have been back in the 80s. So, so this is something I think he probably has some knowledge about. Having been the, the secretary of the, the board, then I mean, this would be, would have been in his office at that time. So, he might have been busier about it too. Do you want me to put all three questions down for the highway theme? We don't have to cancel if we have if we're on. Correct. We don't have to cancel meetings and anything like that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to. True. We can work on the meeting. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
feel, um, do you want me to get serious about the uh, estimator and uh, maybe a little more than that? Well, you're going to have money in there. I mean, that was kind of what the original yeah. intention. I mean, I hate, I hate to go look and call people up and then they call you back and say, well, I don't know. Well, I sure, I think by spring, we don't, unless you find it, that uh, just, you know. Sorry. Because I, I thought you said it first to see where you're at because when mm -hmm. the push comes to shove, you may have to fix it. But there's not much to do because you're not going to get the next way to work. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you didn't need to say it. You didn't need to the tracks or the yeah. And just like the pole works, I mean, that's what we're going to use in the. And we're doing it on the replacement program with the excavators, just to be the road graders. No, I think we're going to try to buy used. Yeah, uh, yeah. around the hundred thousand. Okay, okay. around the store. That's what we were thinking. It'd probably be around a hundred fifty thousand to replace. Buy a decent excavator and a, a decent uh, road boy and start them. Okay. Very great. We do around hundred fifty, and that's about what we've got. We're full. We've got now. Special machinery. We have over the drawings. Yeah, the carryover was 19, but then I think you may have to move that. I've been mean, looking on Craigslist, of course, that's a very kind of tractor house. I mean, 2,000, I mean, you want about 3 or 4,000 there, so about 320, but they're all 10 by 2. So I think that's what size is on the 322. Did we ever think about this special highway? With the uh, fuel system, the fuel system, special highway pumps. Oh, she didn't like that. Where does that go? You yeah, have three different sections in terms of monthly utility operating funds, the other fund, and main statutes, the operation used only for the utility operations, all financial needs have been met, the need to balance, and the transfer money is covered.
Um, yeah. That would be reduced. I mean, if we were to collect on another hundred forty thousand, then then I put us at five hundred thousand, and we look at a three hundred thousand dollars shortfall for the, the solid waste, not including. No, if you only hit seven hundred, revenue is only seven hundred projected. Just seven hundred eighty-five with that ten percent. Um, right. But then once we removed the um, the non-residential half. Then we were closer. To, we took out. I think it was, was three hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. So we took out like one hundred fifty thousand, just right off the top. So we collected about seventy-five thousand or so from non-residential. We can collect the second half of the residential and whatever's left of the non-residential to get us to about five hundred or so, and that would give us I mean, when we cut off the off the top half off. We right, 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 Mm. And hopefully, if the top ten businesses continue to work like they, I mean, they, we've got their attention. In the last three months, Flushmize now has a forty yard or a forty yard roll off that's just off the point that that goes to RSP now. And they did that in the last two months. Well, you're not including sales tax revenue too. Sales tax revenue it would would theoretically cover the shortfall as well, um, or any improvements funds that we want to use. Yeah, but sales taxes in general. Mm. So it's all just about, it's all there. It's just a matter of one we But you projected thirty one thousand three hundred and ninety thousand projected. And we've never collected it one point three three. The oh the one point three nine for the sales tax? So yeah, I am just telling you that, that we're gonna have a shortfall in sales tax collection. From what we projected. Which the year before was projected the same amount. Yeah, I did 1.39 and say 1.33 would be a little aggressive. Well, so so that, that's that's the two best years we've had. Mm -hmm. That's what we collected this year. That's what we collected in I think 2009. Those are the two best years. What do you think sales tax revenues were up? Or don't you see that? Well, we are the same. They were there. They were 8% percent is what their projection was. So, so we have 2012 sales tax. We were really good. 9,000 shortfall for 1.3. The difference between 1.3 and 1.39, 90,000 dollar shortfall. So, if we make that up in any kind of diversion of these well, yeah, you know, but here again, Matt's budget was also based before we did death and both. Mm -hmm. and, and there's there could be a 75,000 dollar savings there if we if we don't have a great surcharge. <laughs> well, we put our fuel uh, surcharge at 390. Three eighty four. Hmm. Three eighty four. Three eighty four. Three eighty four. And that was up from the three ten that we had for the waste management. We were definitely chipping on our own. But it's like you said, if if the amount of waste that shows up out there, that's the last that we have to haul off. Mm -hmm. And and yeah. here again is mm -hmm. you know, I think the other thing that we gotta be looking at is 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 if it's this recycling is going to cost us fifty dollars. Why we don't? I mean, it might as well just let them if they want. I I just hate paying fifty dollars mm -hmm. a ton. You know, that's that's a twenty dollars surplus or sur a surcharge for all the recycled wall. I know it's the right thing to do, mm -hmm. and it it it, it 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 comes close to matching up what we're already subsidizing. Okay? Right. I, but at the same token, I mean, I talked to Brad County, they said they don't recycle it, so it never has paid. It's, you, the best that you're going to do is get the even, but the diversion helps you get more out of your, when you get, when you take out all the light stuff and you get more compact, and especially with the new trailers that we're getting, because there's that 84,000 pound limit that we can take for the transfer, or tra uh, land boat. So that leaves about us being able to do max 23, but with these new aluminum trailers, we could get 24, 25. Per load, if we pack it, if we if we divert out all the light stuff, so um, yeah, we we are playing with the margins, but the best case scenario is that we should assume a seventy seventy to eighty dollar per ton of mix, and then with our forty five percent, we're getting uh, ninety dollars, so we should look at fifty sixty dollars per ton for recycling. But even if you calculate that, we're still going to have a twenty percent shortfall because we're or. Uh, uh, $20,000 savings net after we get our rebates back because we're paying that $3 less for regular time, regular trash time. We're paying 31 instead of our 34 that we're currently paying.
436 had the gauntlet. That's where I think the weight has to come in, because we talked about like it's, t it's still the same touch, but you have fewer freight loads. Fewer freight loads. So even though you're paying the same amount per ton, if you have fewer freight loads going out. Well, we're, still, we're after the same amount per ton. Well, yeah, but I mean, as far as like, you're also having fewer loads going out per ton. Yeah. Yeah, but it's based on the time. Yeah, but you've still, still got, whether it's a tonnage or yeah, every time that truck goes out, that's where they're. I mean, I, that's I, where the freight's going. I'd, I'd like to monitor. I mean, I hope I hope we'll monitor that. Mm. Once 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 we transition and, and, and to see what's costing us, because if we get you know later in the year uh, and, and, and and we're still you know, and we start getting more recycling, you know, because you know, city go into their curbside recycling, we're going to probably see more recycling stuff show up. Mm. But I can tell you right now, the city is a little bit behind on getting their automated platters. So it's probably going to get delayed to the end of May, if not June, before. So that really helps us, because we just keep getting more savings. Once the death ball contract goes in, we're paying.
that kind of a trade off. And then I have that one adjustment that we wanted to wait for. All the commissions for that. We'll probably have a Wednesday a projection on what we're rebating back. What we have approved and what that number is going to represent. We look at all of them. One particular one was on the first. Yep, this one. So it was uh, originally a remove. Sure. They were the they were the order that came in. Where we were the order of the map. Um, but if they don't, their trash doesn't go into the like, transfer station because they live on the counter line. Mm -hmm. So, but we have held them anyway because that's a slippery slope as far as everyone else. So um, that was a, initially removed, but it's, it's, we get the upheld down the system. We just need to have a different calibration. Yep. What's the miscellaneous capital fund in general? Is that like our general courthouse? Yeah, I mean, it's where we're, you know. So we look at what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. We get tax money. I don't think he's gone. 
stuff in Memorial Hall because
I can't remember what I know the kid's name, the uh, Luke Spillmeyer, but uh, I don't remember what their name was. Okay, yeah, I can talk that. But the query, the query now is out, and uh, nobody's heard anything.
18 was actually I think I actually yes we split those out can you pull that up again I thought it was 405 405 is the like an office in it 417 was the one it's the brick building with the tiger painted on that's 417 450 and then 417 or vice versa. One of one of those. Well, it should be. I think, I think I think it's backwards. I think there because I think I think the numbers decrease. I, I, I'm saying I think his office is 417. 415 is the vacant building that you do have. You, know, you have 415 in his office and 417 is storage. But one of them has one of them. Was which address is it? Four, try four or five Main Street. That's the bar. Four nine the bar. I think four. I think that's going to be four eleven. That's the senior citizen section. So four seventeen has to be the bank account. Four fifty. But then his office is the next one. Yeah, it's fresh. It's fresh. four eleven. This will be his office. Four seventeen. Mm -hmm. And then this is the bank right there. So that's what he needs to. Uh, he just needs to correct that. The extension office should. That should be trash.
page 10. Well, see, she got her information before we finished all of the Right, that's why some of them changed.
on my people and the Red Tree Eats people because she told them not to come in. They were getting ready to come in and they, she told them not to. And that's what I told mine. I just needed them to go ahead and just pay them some kind of vacation because I'm the one that told them not to come in. Vacation. Not cool. vacation. She wants the. I mean, they would have taken their personal time, but we had said because we were open until ten, we we were we were saying that anything after ten o'clock, we would we would pay. That would be personal time, but and because we had a mixture of people, we had a lot of people. We had some people that showed up and had actual time, and we had some people that didn't show up. They were on their own time. Well, see, these two would have showed up. I called them because it was getting bad, and I said they'll be in ten minutes. It was a it was a poor timing for the store to be in. We didn't know that the way that's 
store in this world. I mean, all of a sudden, it just kind of got a dry spot right up to the eastern part, and we didn't get it near as much as what everybody said. So, yeah. but we're not getting it now. And I thought they said it was going to start to recall. I thought it was. I called it was. Kansas City said it hit Kansas City at five. So. But at that thing, I tell you, it's, it's whirling again. That gets the world, you just have to go where you go. We're about, to, we're about 10 minutes away. That new stuff is not, not us. It depends on if it's it, it, it head, still heading north or not. It's heading northeast. So we're so still so we may, We're going to get a little bit, but we're still on the tail end of it. Mm, well, when I expand it out, there's still a sh huge chunk that we're not going to get. Yeah, but it's yeah. possible. Then I'm not a meteorologist.